It's been a proper dull year so far. Cold northeasterly winds have battered our shores, so any sunny and still weather that arrives needs to be taken into consideration. One fish that's really taken off in recent years has been the gilhead bream, and this year most certainly it's really come alive. Even though it's not all a go-go, there have been some promising patches where a handful of better fish have been caught. I was lucky to have one of these days recently. Even though the weather was shocking, the fish were on the feed and before I knew it, I was into a boat record. Before going out in the kayak, preparation is absolutely key. I've got my bait ready to go, all bagged up, a little pot to keep it in while I'm afloat. I don't want to be having to smash around mussels and razor clams when I'm down in the water. I'm not the smallest kind of guy, so any kind of movements make the whole boat move all over the place. So yeah, preparation is key. I'm gonna smash some mussels up just so they're broken up, not fully pull them out, but just so they're easier to get to. Put them in this box so they're ready to go. When we're out there, we can just bait them up nicely, thread them straight on. There we go. Nice fresh mussels. It's gonna get a rock. but it's gonna save a bit of time when we're out there there we go all smashed up and ready to go Hoping that camera can see me. There's so many mullet about. Well, debut. Got the anchor ready. It's a little bit blurry, but hopefully behind this boat we can get a little bit of shelter. What we're going to do is we're going to anchor up for the first time, hopefully, if this swell lets me. It's a little bit swelly, but not as bad as it was yesterday. Big storm over there coming. Probably going to get absolutely drenched, but we'll be fine. do is tie it to my get a bit more out I think just tie it to my Thank you. 
like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my cleat and that's us ready to go we're hoping we can get ourselves a nice gilt head there has been some getting caught as of late so rig so I'm a bit jittery this is the first time I've ever anchored the boat it's a little bit blowy hope we stick we'll go for some worm on one rod some nice fresh worm from Eddie's today Jersey record got broken yesterday by Fergie. As you can probably see, I'm just threading these worms on. I'm a bit shaky at the moment because this is the first time that I've anchored my kayak. I'm hoping that storm out there is going to miss us. So yeah, I've got a sliding paternoster. Gonna stick these out not too far. I didn't think about this at the time, but I don't have a rod rest. But I'm hoping we can find a nice little place. There you go. And then on the other rod, I am gonna. Local friend sourced me today. I'm just going to put on a couple of prawns. And hopefully, we get a fish. On this one, I'm going to literally just drop underneath the boat. something big bulky and lengthy I don't really have a kayak rod to be honest I only have my lure rods so I'm using two spinning rods small paternoster rigs Big gilt head. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's a massive gilt head.
strong. Oh, boys. First, oh, look at that. First guilt head of the sesh. What a beast. Stay there. Stay there, you Good job I had my rod in my hand because he was screaming off. Oh boys, he's a beast. There you go lads, first guilt head for me. He's a beast. Rag bait as well. Let's hope we can get another bit of madness there. To be honest, I um, I really wasn't expecting that first chuck. I really wasn't expecting that first chuck. I'm not going to weigh him at all. I'll do that when I get back. He's big, so he could be a record breaker. Let's put the hood on. Here comes the rain. Can you beat it? Ah oh, well. At least my anchor's holding nicely, to be honest. First time I've anchored. I put an anchor trolley on the yak a couple of weeks ago. Done its job perfectly. What I really need is some rod holders, but at the moment we're all good. Conditions are very lumpy, but I got some uh, some mussels from my local market. What I done to save myself some hassle? I cracked them open, or wedged them open before I came out, and a prawn. Saves yourself banging around, especially if it's raining. You don't want to be having to be all over the shop while you're out here. And these mussels, they fall off easy, so what we're going to do is we're going to bait elastic those mussels to a prawn. Just so we've got a nice big juicy bait on the bottom. This doesn't look too appetizing to me but we got a nice cocktail on one and on the other we've got a nice worm bait I'm not gonna chuck it far I'm chucking it literally 30 30 yards in front of the boat those hands set the drag Bob is your uncle oh I just missed a cracking bite Oh mate, that was a really good bite. Yup! Yeah, buddy! 
Oh yes, good one. It's not even big! <laughs> Fuck! You got one? Mate, that thing hit me like a train! Oh, I'll find that then. Have a smaller one. Beautiful colours. Wow, that thing lifted off. 